Hi friends, welcome back to Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. My name is Davine and today I'm going to be covering Charlotte Mason curriculum resources. Now, just as all my other curriculum videos, I am linking in the description below all my slides. So if you want to come back later and look through the slides, I'm also listing all the resources that are mentioned here in the description below. So don't forget to check that out when you're done watching this video. Now, I do want to emphasize that even though my own homeschool is, I would call it a Charlotte Mason inspired homeschool, I actually don't use any of these curriculum myself. I do use some pieces of it and I do do use these four resources in my own homeschool, but I actually go with more of an eclectic approach and I bring in the Charlotte Mason philosophy and style using different curriculum. So you don't have to choose a Charlotte Mason curriculum if you really like the Charlotte Mason philosophy. However, if you do want to be more of a purist Charlotte Mason homeschooler, these are some really solid options for you. So let's just quickly do an overview of what is the Charlotte Mason homeschooling style. With the Charlotte Mason philosophy of education, you are teaching the whole child through spreading a feast of ideas before the child. And what this means is you are teaching a wide range of subjects and you are teaching them in short spurts throughout the day. So the child is encountering a lot of different ideas and it is their job to make the connections between these ideas. The Charlotte Mason method is considered a gentle approach in that the child is not rushed through developmental stages. For example, before the age of six, formal education is not encouraged. After the age of six, the child is taught through a very gentle approach, meaning the child is learning the fine motor skills and forming letters, but quality is emphasized over quantity. So the child is learning how to do things properly, but not asked to do a lot of those things over and over again until they become more comfortable with each developmental stage. So textbooks and workbooks are replaced by studying the world around them the use of living books to teach, and narration, copywork, and dictation. My first recommendation, if you are interested in the Charlotte Mason philosophy of education, is to know why you are doing what you're doing, and I highly recommend For the Children's Sake by Susan Schaefer McCauley. This will give you a general overview of the Charlotte Mason philosophy, and it will help you know why you're doing what you're doing. If you're interested in further learning more about the Charlotte Mason method, Charlotte Mason has her own six volumes that you could read. These are written in mid-1800s and early 1900s, so it's a little harder to get into, but I highly recommend those if you want to learn more about the method. Curriculum options that I'm going over today are Ambleside Online, Simply Charlotte Mason, A Gentle Feast, Build Your Library, and Charlotte Mason's Alviary. So, For the Children's Sake by Susan Schaefer McCauley. It is a really good introduction to the Charlotte Mason method. It touches on the basics. So these are the chapters that she has in this book. What is education? Children are born persons, authority and freedom, a new perspective, the way of the will, reason, and the unity of the whole. So Ambleside Online is a Christian curriculum. It is entirely free in that it is an online resource for all things Charlotte Mason. They give you the guide. They tell you what books. They tell you when to read what. It is a very complete curriculum. What you need to do is you need to go out and purchase the resources to go with this guide. So the price here for using this is in what you decide to purchase for your homeschool. Now, this is broken up into 12 years. I believe there are 12 years of education. And so you'll start with year one at six and go up. And it is actually, if you are jumping in midway, it is highly encouraged that you start a year or two below your actual child's grade as these resources that are suggested can be more of the older, more classic type of books. And it is generally a little harder to comprehend for children in our day and age. So definitely go down a few grades. It is meant for each child to be using the curriculum at their own grades. So in this way, it is not really a family curriculum. However, if I were to do it with my family, I could very easily 
decide on one year in the middle and I could adjust it that way. So I would decide on the basis of what we would be doing together as a family. I would be reading aloud the science and social studies and doing those things together. And then I would be picking the appropriate literature for reading for my kids or language arts writing, all that sort of thing. So just so you know how I would use it if I were using Ambleside online. So there are also various options for either purchasing the book or downloading ebooks or YouTube links to resources, Kindle books, audiobooks. So you don't have to buy all the books. They give you all the resources that they can find for you to use. So this is a great site to look at if you are considering the Charlotte Mason method. So here we are at Ambleside online on the main page. So if you scroll down here, they have the things to help you get started. So here's getting started with Ambleside Online, introduction to Charlotte Mason, and just some helps here. They actually have the original Charlotte Mason book series here. So if you want to read her volumes, you can go there. Let's just take a look at this here. Right. So it looks like it talks about sort of the philosophy of the Charlotte Mason education, looking at your homeschool laws, how this works. So you would want to read here and see how it works. Um, here, it, I noticed here it says reading, copy work, and dictation make up language arts. So purchasing a language arts program is unnecessary. And so they're going to teach you how to use all this curriculum to cover those. They also have resources for things like art study, composer study, folk songs, hymns, Shakespeare, Plutarch's lives. You'll need to add in your own math curriculum and foreign language program. And then they have some videos that you can watch. So all these resources are there. And so this is just explaining how to use this curriculum. So I'm going to go and I'm going to go to year three. I'm just going to assume I'm bas basing this off of maybe a fifth grade level, someone just starting. So here is what the year three book list would look like, which might be for your grade five if you're just beginning a Charlotte Mason education. And they say, don't worry about it if you don't hit year 12. If you hit year nine, you have completed high school level curriculum at that point. So you don't have to try to rush. So here is what they do that year. So all these things here. And so you can kind of see the overview of the year, what they'll be studying. And if you scroll down, here are a bunch of things that tell you how you could find the resources. So is this at manybooks.net, free ebook site, archives, Kindle, Amazon, you have to buy it, things like that. So here they tell you what you should be doing every day, what you could be doing every week. And then here are the general plans for the year. This is what you're doing. So they're giving you all the book lists here of what you'll be using. And then here are all the links to where you can get it, either purchase it or get it for free. So history, biographies, literature, poetry, copywork, recitation, foreign language, geography, term one, two, and three nature study. So this is just the list. So don't worry, they actually do have a place to tell you how to implement. So let's go look at the curriculum year three schedule. So I'm going to click on that. And here is a PDF of the schedule. So you could just click on here. And there you go. It tells you what you need to do each week. So you would decide how you would want to split that up. But it tells you what to read, what to do in all of the things that they have provided here. And then here's a place you could add your own planning. So it has all 36 weeks. So like I said, Ambleside Online, you do need to get in there and you need to look around and you need to kind of think about it. It's not like super open and go. You do have to purchase your resources and plan things out. However, it is completely free. It is very Charlotte Mason. It has very quality Charlotte Mason books. It is a Charlotte Mason education. So. That is what is at Ambleside. If you're interested in that, be sure to go and look into that further. So next we have Simply Charlotte Mason. Simply Charlotte Mason is also a Christian company, and this will definitely bring Christianity into all that you are doing. So very Christian, not just some here and there. I put the prices at the medium to higher range. They have some very quality resources and they are more open and go 
and you can decide how much you want to spend with Simply Charlotte Mason. So it is a family style curriculum. So the $2 signs, which means to me in the four, five, six, seven hundred range, and then this is kind of the eight, nine, ten and up range, it really will be less per child if you have more children in your family because the curriculum is predominantly family style curriculum. So the more children you have, the less expensive it will be per child, and you will be able to reuse some resources over a six year rotation. So you can purchase PDFs or physical guides. So there's a different price for those. And you can purchase things like picture packets and CDs and other resources here. This is a great place to go if you're just trying to do an artist study and you just want to pick up some stuff that will have pictures of the artists and information about the artists and you just want to get something really easy that you don't have to prep. I use this site just to pick up things like that. And so this is a site that you might want to know about if you're just trying to find ways to get that enrichment, but you don't want to maybe purchase the whole curriculum. So the core of the curriculum are Family Guides for History Studies, which includes history, Bible, and geography, Enrichment Studies, which are art, music, literature, poetry, and other things. And then you would have the Independent Study Guides, which would be grade level appropriate for reading, writing, science, and math. So here we are at the Simply Charlotte Mason site. So she has resources here as well. She is on YouTube. It's Sonia Schaefer, and she has a lot of Charlotte Mason resources on YouTube, so you can look her up. Here's the curriculum. So I'm just going to go here to the Charlotte Mason curriculum area. So you can watch this if you want to know more about it. So essentially, here are the three different guides that I was talking about. History studies, it is in a six-year rotation. So you would go through these with your, all your children, and then you would go again through them with all your children. And that covers history, Bible, and geography. Enrichment studies would be all those extra things that like art, music, poetry, all those things. So this would be a guide for those. And then here would be the student guides each level. So these are the guides and the prices of the guides. And here's, look at this. This is all the stuff in the enrichment studies that you would be going over. So these are the plans. So you would have to purchase the books that go with the history studies, the things that go with the enrichment studies, and then the books that you would need for the individual studies. All right, let's take a look at the actual curriculum that you would purchase alongside this. All right, so here is the six year studies. So they kind of mix in Bible. So they do Bible throughout all six years along with history. So the history doesn't always line up like early modern in the epistles, but they kind of have this rotation through Bible and they have this rotation through history. So here we go is the first book. Looks like here's some books that you would be purchasing to go along with that. And so you could check them out at the store, you could go to Amazon, you could check them out from your library. So here are the links to the resources that they would be using in that guide. And then they have here for first through third grade, and then they have here for fourth through sixth grade, and this is how, so this would be the independent reading, seven to ninth grade, and 10 to 12. So you see that's how they individualize it so that it is still at each child's level. So that's just an example of what you would be getting when you go to Charlotte Mason and you buy their guides. You would buy the guide and then they would tell you what you need to purchase to go along with that. So we have a gentle feast. Also Christian curriculum. And I put this at $1 sign because you are just purchasing the guide and this is including if you decided to buy their language arts packets. So just like the other Charlotte Mason type curriculum, you are responsible for purchasing the books. So you can get the PDF of the guide or you can get the physical guides and packets. So they have a general curriculum guide, they have a morning time guide, and they have the language arts packets. So very similar to Simply Charlotte Mason, you have all your curriculum except for the enrichment studies. You have the morning time guide, which is those enrichment studies, art, poetry, music, those things. And then you have the language arts packets for each child at their independent level. So these guides will include clickable links in the PDF format for various things. However, you still have to purchase the physical books to go along with the curriculum. They do give you free options when they are available. So let's take a look at A Gentle Feast. 
So I have been drawn to a gentle feast myself in the past. I've looked at the site quite a lot because it does seem a little not so much. <laughs> With four kids, sometimes I feel like some of these curriculum companies expect a lot, that a lot gets done, and I do feel like a gentle feast breaks it down a little bit more so you're not feeling so overwhelmed with the Charlotte Mason method or style. So I've looked at gentle feast quite a lot. So let's take a look first at the curriculum. So here's the main general guide. So this is a four-year cycle. So if you prefer a four-year cycle to the six-year cycle that Simply Charlotte Mason uses, this is what you would be looking at here. So this is very Charlotte Mason in that this is saying it's Columbus conquests and colonies, but in the older grades, they will also be studying ancient history. But that's added in the older grades, not in the younger grades. So the younger grades, you're studying mostly your own country and the history of your country. And as they get older, they start adding the world history. So even though this says Columbus colonists and colonies, it will also include ancient history. This one would probably include the medieval times. This would probably more be the early modern history, and then this would be all modern times, all around the world and in the United States. So that's kind of how the Charlotte Mason method is supposed to be, and this is what the Gentle Feast does. So here's the online resources. You can get it for $85 and just have it on your Kindle or print it out, or you can get uh, online and printed for $115. And then here's the morning time options. So they have four morning time options to go. So you have four different ones. And the idea is you would do this one one year, next year, next year, next year, and then come back to cycle one. And you don't have to worry about doing the same things again for each child because there are levels for each child. So each child is grouped into early, medium, and higher levels. So there will be different work depending on the child's age. So you would be covering the same history events but you would not be doing the same things with your children. And then here's the language arts packets. So depending on how old your child is, you would purchase one of these packets. And that would include things like copy work, dictation, narration, basic grammar, things like that. You might want to go here to how to select a cycle. This is what I like to do. And then once you get in here, you can click to see a sample book list. You could purchase the book list if you just wanted the book list or click here to see the teacher manual so you can get a better idea. Let me just go here and click on the teacher manual so you can quickly see what is inside of these guides. So they're very beautifully laid out. So lots of stuff here at the beginning, but let's get to the guide. So here we go. This is what it would look like. You have your morning time guide. So what you would be doing day one, day two, day three, day four, day five of the week. Everyone would be doing the same thing here. Then here's your language arts, what your children would be doing throughout the week in language arts. And then here are week one. So form one is like grades one to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. So as you can see, depending on the ages of your children at that time, you would be doing different things in the forms. Once again, as a mom of four kids who are very close in age, I would probably just pick one of these forms that is kind of in the mid-range there that would be most suitable for my children, and I would just do that. And I may or may not level up their reading based on their reading abilities, so maybe I would be like, I'm doing form two, but my two older girls can be working on the literature on form three. So the things that you're studying are very centralized, so you're doing the same similar things throughout all the forms, just at a higher level when the kids get older. So here's the literature, science, natural history, citizenship, modern language, Latin, math. You would be picking your own math there. And there's singing, drawing, and other. So that's just what it looks like. Tea time. So that's what their guides look like. So I hope that is helpful. 
All right, so build your library. This is the secular option that fits best, I think, with the Charlotte Mason philosophy. So if you are looking for a secular Charlotte Mason type, here is the one for you. It comes with a PDF guide, and in the PDF guide, there's a daily schedule, reading list, narration cards, vocabulary words, discussion questions, and dictation that's tied to the weekly reading weekly writing assignments, memory work passages, map work, research projects, art projects, and a science lesson schedule. You still have to purchase the books or borrow them from the library. So that is why this is a very low price. However, of course, depending on how many books you purchase and how many you can get from your library, that price will change. Let's take a look at the website. So here we are at Build Your Library. So let's take a look at what would it look like in grade five, for example. So level five, it is a range of ages, so you could easily put your kids together if they're in a similar range. You don't have to pick level five for your grade five students, so that is always a plus in my book anyway. So here's an explanation of what you'll be learning that year. And this is what the PDF comes with. So this is what I said in the introduction, all the things that it comes with, including a three day per week schedule for Real Science Odyssey Biology 2. So if you watched my last video about classical homeschool resources, you will see that the Real Science Odyssey was there, Pandia Press. So they're using that as the science in this program. Of course, you could get any science you wanted and schedule it how you would like. Here is a week sample. So there's the book list, your literature, poetry, readers, science, art, geography, and here is the layout of what you would do. So what you would read each day from which books, poetry you would read, the literature, the reader, science that you would be doing, language arts, what to do there. And here is more information on each day. So it looks like pretty standard layout and one page of explaining what you would do. So I feel like if I were looking for a secular curriculum, this would be a company that I would be interested in looking at with all of its literature-based or learning and Charlotte Mason style. Okay, so Charlotte Mason's Alviary. This is a little bit different. This is not so much a curriculum, though it is a curriculum. It is more a membership into kind of a curriculum group or organization. So it is Christian. I put it at two dollar signs because the yearly membership per family is $250. If you have a large family, then that's a great price because it comes with all of the plans for all of your children. However, of course, like always, you have to purchase the books or you have to use the free resources or things that they can provide for you. There will be a mix. There will definitely be more books needed to be purchased. The thing with this is it is a yearly membership. So you only have membership for the year and the plans will change depending on each child's grade and level. So like I said, books will need to be purchased to go along with the curriculum. They will provide some free links or eBooks when available. And it also includes ongoing education of the Charlotte Mason philosophy for the parents and online community. So let's take a look at this website. So here we are, and here is registration. So registration is open right now. It is February 13th for the new school year. And let me go down quickly here. It kind of talks about some of the things here. So here is a video that you could watch if you're interested. Here it talks about what it is. So it's a complete and comprehensive curriculum and teacher training program for homeschools, co-ops, and schools. Their aim is to provide a robust and modern course of study that is both true to Charlotte Mason's model of education and relevant to the 21st century students living in the United States and Canada. This is how it works. As soon as you register, you have all of the information available that will start your new upcoming school year. And it goes from June 1st to June 30th. So you kind of have this 13 month official access, but you can start it right away as soon as you sign up. So sign up starts at February 1st. As of June 30th, everything will disappear for the last year. 
and the new stuff will be going up. So there'll be two years going on for, for a little bit of time here. And then they talk about how much it costs, which I kind of mentioned. So it says which period time periods will be studied this year. So they're on a four-year history rotation. They'll be studying 1800s to 1900s in this coming year. And grades five and up will study ancient history as well. And then a lot of their literature, dance, picture study, composer study are all correlated with the year's history rotation. So what's included? Book lists, supply lists, lesson plans, schedules, and exams for all subjects. So that is the Alviary. All right, so those are the Charlotte Mason curriculum options that I have found that are more popular or I have heard more about or I've researched more myself. If you use or have used any of this curriculum, I'm sure that we would love to hear about any experiences that you have had. So be sure to comment below if you're using any or you have any tips for us about these different curriculums. If you're interested in seeing the other curriculum videos that I have up, I will link it up here so that you can go through. So far I have done the traditional and the classical style. Next, I'll be doing more of a literature-based eclectic style and unit studies and maybe Montessori and Waldorf. I'm going to look for curriculum for those. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you again. Thanks for coming today. Goodbye, everyone. Mm -hmm.